Nothing about this 2012 Honda Civic looks different, but it does not run on gasoline, diesel fuel of any kind, or even electricity, and certainly not clean coal. It's powered by natural gas. For treading lightly on Mother Earth, this is a very good thing. How clean is this car? Well, one study says that on an extremely smoggy day, the exhaust coming out of the tailpipe is actually cleaner than the surrounding air. Wallets will breathe easier too. Natural gas is easily 30% less expensive than gasoline, and nearly all of our supply is produced here in North America. Finally, owners can skip gas stations. A personal fueling unit taps into home gas lines. One disadvantage of a natural gas system is the trunk, or more accurately, lack of. The large tank occupies a lot of the space and keeps the back seats from folding down. For those who often shuttle friends to the airport, consider the suitcase size bundle to guide, packed lightly. Other considerations? Well, public fueling stations are scarce, and the home station is not cheap at around four grand with installation. Driving distance drops by about 25%, though fuel economy stays the same. The NG Civic is EPA rated at 27 City 38 Highway. Civic's 1.8 liter four cylinder makes 110 horsepower burning natural gas. That's 30 less than the gasoline version. It's hooked up to a five-speed automatic. There's no manual shift mode. Even with fewer ponies, the natural gas model doesn't feel particularly underpowered. The remarkable thing about the Civic natural gas is how unremarkably different the driving dynamics are. It feels like a regular Honda Civic. These days, that means the ride quality and handling are mid-pack. This is transportation for alternative fuel enthusiasts and the eco-minded, not performance drivers. Inside, you'd never know there's anything different about this car. There are no badges or gauge differences. The two-tiered instrument panel will be very familiar to Civic owners. Materials are hard and look like rice paper or an industrial surface, depending on how a person sees it. Personally, I'd choose a darker interior. Looks like dirt would show easily. The back seat is unchanged from the regular Civic. That means two adults will be perfectly fine back here. Three will fit in a pinch. There is storage in the doors, but the features stop there. No folding armrest or map pocket on the driver's chair. No power port either. The Navi system is a basic unit. I'd store fuel station locations for safety's sake. iPod and phone integration is standard. The controls gray out and are unusable when driving. Kind of a hassle. There is basic voice control. For some reason, Honda's system doesn't work very well with mine. The initial cost of running with natural gas is not cheap. This particular car retails for $28,400 before a four grand government tax credit. In total, it's a premium of 2,000 bucks. This is a vehicle without a sunroof, auto climate control, heated or leather chairs, backup camera, or even a leather wrap here. Pretty basic. Good to see Honda doing something different though. Civic natural gas is a unique way to keep the air and your conscience clean. Here's something interesting. I've passed this fueling station for months now and was getting pretty low on natural gas. Big surprise for me, it's not natural gas, it's propane, which is different. A safety consideration? Well, propane is heavier, and in the unlikely case of a tank rupture, it can pool on the ground, posing a greater explosive risk than natural gas, which rises and dissipates. Many of you out there are enthusiasts, and so you know that the Civic Natural Gas has been around for a number of years, but in very, very few states. That's now grown to 35 or 200 Honda dealerships, so anybody who really wants to own one can get one. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.